Hi, everyone. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. Welcome back to the Divine Hand with Love channel. I am Nicole, and I will be reading for you all today. I am so grateful to have you here with me. Welcome back to the Capital L-O-V-E tribe. I love you all. Thank you all so much for your love and support. We are back here with another pick a card. This pick a card is dealing with the Libra full moon. The Libra full moon. Now, of course, all of my readings are timeless. Whenever you click on this reading, it's timeless and it's meant for you at that time. So it doesn't matter when you find this message, it's timeless. I just want to make that clear. However, when I'm filming this, this is a Libra full moon, a full moon in Libra. So this is a time to release. This is a time to release, let go and bring balance because Libra is all about, the sign of Libra is all about balance, balancing the scales, even energies being in balance, energies being in alignment because we always want to have our energies in alignment and in balance and moving toward our highest good. So we're going to get messages from spirit today. Whatever spirit wants us to know, we have three piles here, pile one, pile two, pile three, pile one, Pile two, pile three. Of course, timestamps are linked below. Thank you all so much for being here, and I will see you in your reading. Thank you. Hi, pile one. If you chose this, Crystal, welcome to your reading. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you are well. If you missed the part in the beginning, I just want to reiterate that this is a timeless reading. Timeless reading. Whenever you find this reading is meant for you. So I just want to make sure that's clear. Oh, wow. The energy is jumping. Okay. All these cards fell. Just hold on a second. But how long we're asking spirit, what do you need to know for this Libra full moon, the full moon in Libra? What message do you just need right now, Pile One? What do you need to hear? This message is meant to find you right now. So what do you need to know? What do you need to hear? Pile One, please, Spirit. Please, Spirit, give me messages for Pile One. Full Moon and River. So we have the Moon in Reverse. We have... The Four of Swords. Four of Swords in reverse. We have the Six of Cups. Power One, Three Spirit, Power One. We have the King of Cups in reverse. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Nine of not a swords. I'm sorry. When they change the name, it just throws me off for a second. So that's why I'm like, uh, okay. We have the four of wands in reverse. And we have Wheel of Fortune. Okay. And we're going to pull a ton of oracles as well. But we have the three of swords in reverse. Okay, pile one, let me tap in. And then I'm going to pull your oracle cards out in just a few minutes because I just want to get, I want to read this differently. We're just going to get all the messages out together for this. I like to do it that way for these type of messages. Okay. Pile one, um, this is heavy. I'm just going to start by that. This is heavy energy and I'm not trying to be triggering but if this is triggering, I do apologize. I have to get the message the way I'm channeling it right now. Pile one. Okay, just hold on a second. Okay. 
There's a need here, pile one, for love. You want to be loved so bad, pile one. You have this need to be loved, to be accepted by others. This need to please, this need to just do whatever it takes to receive love, this need to, because there's a deep, deep wound here, Pile One. It's a deep wound and it's a deep yearning for love, to be loved, to receive love, to receive acceptance. And this goes back to childhood. I do believe that there is an incredible amount of self-harm going on here, Pile One. And whether you still do self-harm or you used to do self-harm, you take it how it resonates. But I do feel and see that there is a good amount of you who harm yourselves because there's just this need to just feel something. I feel like you feel so devoid of emotion and um, feeling a lot of time, a lot of times. And I feel like you don't even know where this comes from. I feel like this has been something that you felt all your life. This has been something that you've dealt with all of your life, but you really don't know where this comes from. You, you don't know where this hole exists because it's like a hole. It's like a deep, dark hole. And it's like, you know how to move forward and do what you have to do to go along, to get along. But it's like that yearning and longing and that hole comes back. It's like, you'll just be on the straight arrow, the straight path. You'll feel like you're just doing so great. You feel love from others. You feel great. You feel acceptance from others. And then something happens and it's like, boom, it takes you back to step one. It takes you back to that place of not feeling good enough. It takes you back to that place of not feeling worthy. It takes you back to this place of rejection, abandonment. I feel like power one, you are moving forward with your journey as far as like starting to recognize the person who you are and trying to find an understanding of what you're meant to be in this life. I don't know if you've seen my reading on what is your life purpose, but Spirit told me to tell you to go watch that after this video, if you haven't already seen it. I feel like Pile One, you have so much love within you and so much to give, and you give so much love of your, so much love from yourself to others and you do not receive it back. And Spirit is saying that this is on purpose because it's meant for you to find the love within, to find, to bring this into balance, to bring more love, to bring more self-love to yourself. I'm hearing the Spirit is closing the doors. Spirit is forcing people not to respond to your text. Spirit is forcing people not to give you the type of love and validation that you're searching for because this is meant to bring you to a place of self-love and unconditional love for self and acceptance. Mm -hmm. And I can relate to this pile one because I had the same issues with bringing myself back into balance of unconditional love and realizing that if I love myself, everyone else will love me the way I deserve to be loved. Because if I give myself that amount of love that I always give away, if I can give it to myself, then everything else will fall into place. But it starts with us giving ourselves the love first. We've been taught that in order to, many of us have been taught, not everyone, but many of us have been taught in order to receive love and validation from others, we have to give, 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 give. We always have to show up. We always have to give ourselves. We always have to give all of ourselves. You know, we've been taught that in friendships, if you don't give everything in this friendship, then you're not a good friend. We've been taught if you're in a relationship, if you're just not giving everything to this other person, you're not a good partner. You're not a good, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend. We've been taught those things. So spirit is trying to teach you, pile one, 
that it's time to give to yourself. What is it that you want? What is it that makes you feel loved? What are the things that you can do to give yourself love? And I'm not speaking of just monetary things, material things. Those things are great as well. I feel like you do treat yourself. I think that you think that when you buy yourself certain things or treat yourself to certain things, that's yourself giving yourself love. And that is true. That is love. However, when you are like, if you just take time to sit alone with nothing, nothing on, no fancy clothes on, no, you know, just sitting with yourself in regular, I don't know, just regular pajamas or something. How can you give yourself that love? What can you do to give yourself that love? What do you say to yourself? What does your self-talk sound like? Is it negative? Is it harsh? Are you hurting yourself? Because I see here that some of you are hurting yourself physically. Like you may be cutting or there may be a substance abuse issue here. And substances, that goes for alcohol as well. You know, that's not exempt. I think when we always think about substances, we always think about drugs. And, you know, alcohol is the same way. If you're overusing alcohol, that's substance abuse. How can you take care of yourself and give yourself that love? Because, Pile One, you're in this place now where King of Cups is in reverse. And King of Cups, that's that's the king of love. That's the king of emotion, the king of water, the king of the emotional body, regardless of gender here. And it's in reverse. That means there's an imbalance. You're giving too much love away and you're not giving enough to yourself. And spirit wants you to release that. Release the need to just keep giving, giving, giving all of your love away and you have nothing saved for yourself. It's not healthy and it's an imbalance. And you're going to have to deal with the deficit and the lack of love that you feel for yourself. But it's really getting to the root of why you feel this lack of love for yourself. It could be inner child pain. It could be abandonment issues. It could be rejection issues. You know, you may have felt rejected as a child. It could be sexual abuse trauma. It could be physical abuse, trauma, or just any type of abuse, emotional abuse, you know, getting down to the root of it. Because I feel, Pow one, that you know that you have issues with loving yourself. I feel like you know this already. Like, I'm not really telling you anything that you didn't already know. I feel like you know that. But I feel like you don't, you don't know where this is coming from. You don't know why this exists. And in order to heal it, Pow one, you have to find why. Why is this happening? Where is the root of this issue? Where did this come from? And it could be a number of things. It doesn't just have to be inner child issues, childhood issues. It doesn't just have to be that. It could be from adulthood as well. You know, you could have been in a relationship with someone that you gave so much to this person and they abandoned you or they rejected you, or they broke your heart, they betrayed you. You know, that could be also adding to the pain. But there's a root cause here for this lack of love that you're giving to yourself. And spirit is saying, it's time to dig deeper. It's time to not just skim the surface of this, to just like, you know, you know that you may have issues with boundaries. You know that you have issues with giving so much of yourself. I feel like, again, you know all of this, but it's time to go deeper now. Let's let's go further down. Let's figure out why this issue is here. Where does this come from? What's causing this pain? Because once you know, once you are aware of the cause of this pain, the root of the issue, And it could be a number of things, like I said, but there is root causes here that's causing you not to love yourself the way you should. And it's causing you to hurt yourself and harm yourself or speak to yourself in a harsh, negative way. And that's a huge imbalance, pile one. And it's time to get to the root of the issue. So you're going to have to go deeper. And I know, speaking from experience myself, it fucking sucks. 
it hurts. It hurts to go deeper to the truth because that's really in essence, finding out the truth of the issues, finding the truth, finding the truth of why you have this deficit of love for yourself. It's hard. It's hard. And it's not always, you know, people say like, oh, you know, it can be easy and it can be easy, but the truth is not always easy to integrate. The truth is not always easy to become aware of, but the truth will always set you free. As cliche as that sounds, the truth will always set you free. You will feel empowered once you know the truth. Now, when you find out that truth, is it going to be easy? Nine times out of 10, no. Nine times out of 10, no. And it's hard. But at the end of the day, it's all for your highest good and it will always set you free and you will feel better and you can heal it. You can heal it and understand why this is why I have a hard time loving myself. This is why I have a hard time speaking to myself positively. This is why I, I enjoy hurting myself or I feel like when I hurt myself, I'm feeling something, I'm feeling pain. And I somehow enjoy this, but this is why I do these things. So with this energy that we're experiencing now, because again, this is timeless, but with this energy that you're experiencing now, use that energy to dive deeper, get deeper to the root issue, because there's a root issue here. And I feel like it's going back to childhood because I see children here in the Six of Cups is typically like a childhood, child memories it's something going back to childhood that you need to dig deeper with. And you could do that through meditation. You know, you can go to YouTube. There are plenty of guided meditations on YouTube that are free. And if meditation doesn't work for you, figure out what works for you. But I'm speaking from experience. Meditation really helped me go deeper to find those memories that cause the pain. Because that's what this is. It's something that's occurred that caused this pain. There's root issues here. And spirit is saying, when you get to that, when you find that truth, because that's a part of your truth, you'll be able to heal it. And you'll be able to love yourself from an authentic place, pal one. Okay, let's get your oracle cards out. Meditate and contemplate. This is what I was talking about. New moon and Pisces, okay? Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. Okay, let's see what else we have. Trust. 32, number five. Okay, five is about change and adjustments. And we have that already out here. With adjustments are required. I have a lot of oracle cards for you. So let's just see what else we have. Pleasure, 18. So that reduces to the number nine. Surrender frustration. Surrender your belief in scarcity. Loss. Sometimes you learn the true offering through loss. You make a passionate invitation for love to take over and bring her own plan instead of the egos. Worth. You have been worthy to belong to love all along without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, Pile One. And extraordinary. Oh my gosh. There is a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored. That's beautiful. Okay, Pile One. Pile One. Um, you're going through a huge transformation right now. Pile one, huge. You know, butterflies represent transformation. And so make sure you can see this. Butterflies represent transformation. And in this visual card here, we see so many butterflies. And they're represented in the color blue. And blue is associated with truth. With truth, with authenticity, honesty, and your throat chakra. It's time for you to experience pleasure on a deeper level, but it's self-pleasure, pleasure within yourself, love and pleasure within yourself and letting yourself be free, letting the truth free you. 
You need to be freed right now, Power One. I feel like you're just in the state of, you're like locked in a case. Like this card, when I look here, like I feel like this is almost representing you. Like you're just in this bubble. This is letting you know also that you are protected. I want you to know that, that you're very protected, but it's like the real Pow One is locked away and the truth has to be illuminated. It's time for the truth to be illuminated. So it's time for you to go deeper and for you to trust, to trust the messages, to trust what you see. You know, when I, when I started really working on my inner child wounds, I, when I would meditate, I started seeing things that I really questioned. Did this happen to me? Did that really happen? And I feel like spirit is saying that that's what's going to happen to you. That's why spirit told me to tell you that story because you do have those moments where you're like, wait, no, that didn't really happen. But it did. And you have to trust what you see and what you hear and trust the signs and trust and know that you are okay. And this is the truth. As much as it hurts, it is the truth. And the truth is going to, again, set you free. The truth has to be illuminated right now because I feel, Pal One, you've been going in this circle. You've been going in this circle and you're very strong. And you're a beautiful person, Power One, but I feel that you don't understand why you just have such a hard time loving yourself. And again, I can relate to this. And it's because you have to go deeper and find out where this comes from, why this exists, because there's a reason and spirit is pushing you to illuminate it, to figure it out, become aware so you can heal it. So you can begin to love yourself because it's time. You have things that you need to release right now. You need to release the belief in scarcity. You have this belief that and this is self-limiting belief that there's not enough, that you will never have enough. You aren't abundant. You will not be successful. You have these beliefs that are deep down within you and you may be aware of them. Maybe you're not. But I'm here to illuminate this for you right now, that this is a part of the truth as well. And this is something that needs to be broken. The universe always provides. The universe always provides. But we have to trust. If we trust and know that our needs are always going to be met. I'm not saying that there will be a whole lot of extra all the time. That may not be the case. You know, when we say like, we have to trust that our needs are always going to be met. Sometimes it's going to be situations where all of your bills are paid and you know you have extra money, but you may not have extra money to take a trip right now. But it's okay because if you continue to trust and believe, you will continue to grow in your abundance. And you know what? In the next month, you may have a surplus that you can take a trip because maybe that's what's needed at the time. So you have to trust and believe that all of your needs are always going to be met. You are safe, you are protected, but you cannot continue to have this belief that there's not enough and there will never be enough. That's something that right now you need to break as long, along with this, um, the frustration feelings that you're feeling right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Frustration doesn't open any doors. Okay, it's time for you to drop that and drop the fact that, you know, you're you may be frustrated with a lot of things in your life right now. You have to let it go and trust. You have to surrender the need to be frustrated. Pray, let it go, trust. There's other work that has to be done right now. But doors will continue to open the more healing that you do for yourself. But frustration does not open any of those doors extraordinary spirit is reminding you that you are extraordinary look at this the peacock some more blue again the truth the throat chakra you know you may have throat chakra blockages right now this is the truth of who you are you are beautiful unique and you need to honor yourself and honor your extraordinary beauty and your gifts you are beautiful. I feel the need to keep telling you that because I feel like you don't know that you're beautiful. You are beautiful. You are gorgeous inside and outside. Okay. I want to remind you of that, Pal One, because 
you're having issues with your worth. And again, we see more butterflies, transformation. You are transforming. You are transforming. This is huge right now. It's a lot of transformation happening for you right now. But you have to know that you are worthy. You belong to love. You are love. You have so much love to give. But it's time to give it to yourself. Instead of giving it away to so many people, to so many different situations and stuff like that, you have to give it to yourself. These are the adjustments that are required right now. You can't keep going like this. It doesn't serve you. You have to know that you are worthy, you are loved, and to give this love to yourself. You may be dealing with loss right now. I'm hearing it could be a breakup or someone passed recently that was important in your life. And they're letting you know that that type of energy, you learn so much and you grow so much. Because again, you're going through a huge transformation. All of these butterflies, we see the number five transformation. This is huge right now for you. It's a lot happening that you can't see. But spirit is saying, go deeper and don't be afraid. Trust it. You are protected. You have to go deeper, but you have to trust it. You're working through your fears. You're being encouraged to work through your fears. And they're letting you know that you are protected. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to go back and look at childhood. As painful as that may sound, everyone's childhood is different, but that may be very painful for you to look at childhood. Like that may be something you're scared to do. And spirit is saying, don't be scared work through your fears. It's a deeper issue here. And once you tackle this, you will be able to love yourself properly, which will balance the energy out so you can love others the way they deserve to be loved too. But meditation will help you right now. Give it a chance. Those meditations, the guided inner child and guided meditations, do one that's like five minutes or 10 minutes. You don't need to do it that long. Okay, just try it out. Give it a chance. Be open and give it a chance, Pile One. So if no one told you that they love you today, I love you, Pile One. I'm sending you so much love on your journey. I'm proud of you for showing up for yourself, for doing the work, for going deeper, for listening to this message. I'm proud of you, Pile One. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you all so much for being here. Comment below. Let me know how this resonated for you, and I will see you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, Pal 2. Welcome to your reading. If you chose this, so this is your reading. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you are well. I just want to reiterate, in case you missed it from the beginning, this is a timeless reading. I'm filming this around the time where, well, the day, actually, that there is a full moon in Libra. However, this is timeless. So whenever you find this message, this is meant for you. I just want to make sure that you know that so let's get messages whatever spirit wants to tell you right now pow to pow to what are the messages for um, spirit please what are the messages for pow to spirit please pow to the sleeper full moon we have three of pentacles we have the chariot We have seven of, this is seven of wands. Yes, yeah, seven of wands. When they change the name, sorry, y'all. Um, I just get like, okay, hold on. Let me pause for a second. Ace of wands. Okay, and we have two sevens here. So that's seven, seven. Seven is a very spiritual number. So after this reading, Google 77 spiritual meaning, angel number, please. Get more messages for you from that. We have eight of, eight of swords. We have four of pinnacles in reverse. We have five of, Five of Swords. And then we have Four of Wands. And one more came out. We have the Strength card in reverse. 
And then we have two of two of wands in reverse. So it's a lot of fire energy out here. So you could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. I'm filming this. This is Aries season when I'm filming this. Shout out to the Aries. Happy birthday, Aries. Okay, let's get into it. Let me tap in. I feel like Powell, too. There's an addiction to working. And spirit is trying to illuminate that for you right now. Your addiction to work. You're a hard worker. You are a warrior. You are strong. You were built for this. You're very strong. But your level of strength and courage right now is not in balance. And it's very, it's unbalanced because of things going on in your life. Um, I feel like, pal, too, you've been dealing with a lot of truth has been hitting you right now. A lot of, like, things have been revealed that you didn't know. And I feel like it took you by surprise. And it's really taking its toll on you. But you're so strong that you continue to move forward. And charge ahead because, again, you are so strong. You now, you may be a Leo. You know, you are just naturally strong, strong-willed, strong-headed. Um, you get it done. You have no power. No, you have no fear of being in your power and showing your power. You have no qualms about that. And Spirit is saying that you need to rest and you need to heal. There's some things that you're not recognizing about yourself right now. There's some things that you're not seeing about yourself right now. You're so committed to work. You're so committed to pushing ahead, charging ahead. And I can relate to this pile too because I love to work as well. I love to work. Work gives me satisfaction. You know, you feel like you're in your purpose. So you love to do what you do. But at the same time, when we're working and we're not looking at ourselves or not healing like we should, all of this work is for nothing. I don't want to say it's for nothing, but it's not always working toward our highest good, if that makes sense. Like if we're just work, 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 and we're not taking the time to look at ourselves. We're not taking the time to reflect. We're not taking the time to sit still, to really check in with ourselves, to really see what's going on. Then we can't be our best selves and successful as we should with our work if we're not taking that time to do that. And that's the message from spirit right now. I feel like Paul too. There's a battle going on. Okay, this came up in reverse, but when we look at this card here, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a darker shade here and there's a lighter shade. There's, an, there's a battle going on between your light and your dark, and the dark wants to be illuminated. The dark is asking to be illuminated, and the thing is is that you have so much fire within you to illuminate this dark. You have a lot of light in you, pal, too. That's just a given. You could be, even be a light worker, okay? But the darkness needs to be illuminated. You have to honor the darkness as well. Within us, we have light, dark, yin, yang, masculine, feminine energies. We have both. There's an imbalance here of these energies. And right now, your dark is asking to be illuminated by your light. Your dark side, your shadow, that's what we call shadow, shadow work. And that's just, again, going back to doing your healing work. There's something deeper here that you are not, you are avoiding right now. And I feel that 
If you continue to avoid this, this is a clear message. Take this how it resonates. But if you continue to avoid your healing, spirit is saying to me that next up is going to be your work. Your work will be affected. You will not be able to manifest and attract the abundance that you deserve if you refuse to acknowledge the dark. So there is some dark shadow. And when I say dark, I don't want to scare you because I think that when we hear dark, we our mind can just go to so many different places. We all have light and dark within. And some darkness could be the wounds the shadow aspects of yourself that you're not acknowledging. There could be, for example, a shadow aspect of aspect of yourself could be you may have a tendency to be needy or clingy. I'm just giving this as an example. Let's just say when you're in a relationship, you have this need to be validated, this need to be affirmed. You may not realize that about yourself. You may not realize that you could be needy, that you constantly need others to validate you. This may be something that you may be oblivious to. You may be in denial about. And it's okay. It's nothing wrong with that. But it's time to get down to illuminating it, to bringing it to the light. When you bring it to the light, that's bringing it to the truth. The truth is the light. And as I said, I said this in Power One. I don't feel that this you guys relate, but I'm just saying, as I said in Power One, the truth will always set you free. As cliche as that might sound, the truth will always set you free because the truth gives you the light. Now you know. Now you could change that. Let's just say, and this doesn't even mean romantic relationships. It just could be in any relationship. Let's just say again, going back to the clingy, needy energy. You could get upset if people don't respond to your messages as soon as you send them. There could be an energy here where if you send a message to someone, you just expect for them to send you a message back within the hour. And if they don't do that, you're pissed off. So it's like, why are you pissed off? Asking yourself these questions. Why is this upsetting you? Why do you expect for this person to answer you right away? And if they don't answer you right away, why do you get upset? And so that's going back to that neediness. Why do you need to be validated? Why going deep, diving deeper to the issue? Because there's a deeper issue here for why you may be clinging, why you may need this immediate validation, why you may need that affirmation so badly from other people. Why do you feel that you need to be approved by other people. And I'm sorry if this is triggering Pow 2. I'm very sorry, but I have to give you the message as it's coming out. There could be a need, another shadow aspect, just to give another example. There may be a self-sabotage energy with you. Before people can get too close, or before you get in too deep with people, you begin to self-sabotage. You begin to say, you know what, this person is too good to be true. Let me get out of this right now before I get hurt. And let's just save ourselves a lot of time because I don't feel like dealing with that. So, you know, this person, I don't know. They're too good to be true. So now that's, let's dive deeper. Let's ask ourselves these questions. Because again, for me, when I dive deeper, I ask myself questions. Why do you think this person is too good to be true? What are they showing you? Is it because they're showing you these things and you you have this self-limiting belief that this does not exist in others? These type of things that this person is showing you, it's no way someone could just be this good, this good hearted. They must have an ulterior motive. They must have an agenda. And this is not to say that that person doesn't have an agenda. I don't know. I'm just using this as an example, but you have to dive deeper. Maybe they don't. And maybe that's just more self-limiting beliefs that you have that, you know, you feel like if I self-sabotage this and get out of this, this will help save me from being hurt. So then now the deeper question is, why do you want to save yourself from being hurt? 
Do you feel you're not worthy of this? Do you feel, do you have an abandonment wound that you need to deal with? Like, I'm going to leave them before they leave me because I know this person is just so good. They're not going to stick around too long because they're going to figure out I'm not good enough. So there's just deeper issues here. And this is going to be different for everyone, Pile 2. Everyone's belief systems are different and the wounds are different. But that's just to give a couple of examples. There's a deeper issue here that needs to be illuminated. And Spirit is saying, if you continue to not deal with it, Spirit is going to affect other parts of your life that you're not going to be pleased with. And work is a part of your life that I feel that is very important to you. And also I feel like work is a situation where you feel like you are in control. And that may be another issue that you need to look deeper at. Do you have control issues? Do you just let go and let it flow or are you trying to control everything? So it's time to look deeper as to why Whatever the issue is for you, because again, everyone is different. I'm, I'm feeling a lot of different things here. Whatever resonates for you, something that's in the dark needs to be brought to the light. Take it one part at a time. We all have shadow aspects. We have a ton of them, just like we have a ton of light aspects as well. But start with one shadow aspect, one thing that's in the dark that you know that you need to deal with that you haven't, I feel like you already know what that is, Pile 2. I feel like you, because you're very strong, you're very brave, you're very in tune. I feel like you're very in tune with yourself. Again, you could be a light worker. You know, you know how to dig deep. You've done this before. Do you like doing it? No. Do I like doing it? No. I was just telling Pile 1 the same thing. It sucks. Like, it's, it's, sets you free and it's rewarding and it's great, but the process is not, the process could feel difficult, uncomfortable, but it's always rewarding in the end. And it's something here that you need to illuminate so you could bring into balance. So you could be walking full, fully in your power because you're not, right now, your power is, there's a serious imbalance here, pal, too. Okay, let's look at your oracles. Okay, you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. It's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. And after this Libra full moon, that's the next one. So spirit is saying, take this time. Use this energy to work through this. Release, 27. That's the number nine that reduces down to number nine. Self-love, number six. Surrender fear. Surrender your attachment to results. Surrender to non-action. Self-love. Let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child. I long to take care of myself like never before. This is beautiful. Clearing. As true offering arises, it becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from mine, mine, mine to God's, God's, God's. Such freedom. It's a beautiful deck. Okay. Inner child. Wow. So many repeating messages here. Allow me to give compassion and love to that little one. Let me attend to its deepest needs and feelings. Pow 2. So you may want to watch Pow 1 as well. Pow 2 if you're really connecting with this because I was talking more about that inner child in Pow 1. So take it how it resonates. Of course, I'm just giving you that message, pal, too. So, pal, too. We have so many repeating messages here of self-love and inner child, okay? Your inner child is screaming for love right now. 
screaming. I feel that so deeply. Your inner child just wants you to come in and acknowledge, acknowledge and love. Your inner child wants you to go and give him or her or whatever you resonate with, if you're, you consider yourself, you know, non-gender, give your inner child that love. Give your inner child that love. I have to repeat that, pal, too, because it's time. Like I said, we have so many repeating messages here. Spirit is saying, take a break. You work too much. You are a hard worker. Yes, hats off to you, pal, too. You're amazing. You're beautiful. But you have to take a break. Spirit is saying work will always be there. You have to let go of this limiting belief. And I still am working through this as well, that if I don't work, I'm not going to be successful, that I can't take the break that's needed in order to still be successful. I still have that issue that I'm working through. But when it's time to take a break, it's time to take a break. And you need to take a break. You need to do less and heal. There's a serious, deep need of deep healing right now. And you're going to be releasing because you're transforming. There's a transformation happening, but you need to give yourself love and know that you are good enough. You are just enough. You are just enough. You don't need others to validate you. You don't need others to affirm you. Anything else that someone else does for you is just a bonus. You should be complimenting yourself. You should be affirming yourself. Affirmations may be really important for you right now. There's so many different videos on YouTube that are free about affirmations. You need to, um, if you can, do an inner child meditation on YouTube that's free. Get in touch with your inner child. It's like you could do one for like 10 minutes, five minutes. You don't need to do it that long, okay? But the, you need to dig deep and get into that inner child because the inner child is begging for love. And when you give your inner child that love, that will develop more self-love within it's time to release negativity and fear. There's something that you are fearful of within yourself that you're afraid to even look at within yourself. I think that, you know, a lot of times our shadow side feeds that fear. What our shadow believes. And that's going back to the self-limiting beliefs. So like, for example, with work, our shadow is telling us if we don't work every day, we're not going to be successful. We're not going to get abundance. We're not going to continue to climb the ladder to gain the things that we need for the material world to be successful. That's a self-limiting belief. Yes, hard work is necessary. But when it's time to take a break, you have to trust that you could take this break and you will still be successful. You have to trust that you could do take a break and heal yourself. And when I say heal yourself... You need to sit by yourself, Pow 2. You need to sit alone with no one else around. Like I said, go back and watch Pow 1. Some of the things may resonate, some of the things may not, but I do feel that there are a lot of similarities with Pow 1. You need to sit by yourself, just you. No phone, no device, no TV, nothing. And take time to deal with the issues within. Take one thing at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself. You know, you may say, well, Nicole, I have abandonment issues. I have issues with rejection. I have issues with feeling abundant. I have fear. I, I know I have those same issues too. I'm right there with you, pal, too. But take one thing at a time. Like for me, I'm using this Libra full moon energy to release because that I need to release the wounds that I'm dealing with right now with inner child. I'm dealing with the same thing. I have inner child issues that I'm dealing with that have been coming up all week, but I'm choosing after this video, I'm choosing to take the rest of the day. And this is actually a Sunday. I don't typically work on Sunday, but I felt I need to get this reading out today. So I'm taking the rest of the day to heal. And I'm going to look at my truth. And again, that's not always easy, but it's going to set me free. And it's going to give me that release that I need to move forward toward my highest good. Surrender your attachment to results. You are attached to results right now, Pal 2. Again, you may not realize that about yourself. You have some type of attachment to results, and that could be going back to work. 
You could be feeling like, okay, if I do all of this, I should receive this. The payout should be this. And spirit is saying, you have to let that go. Stop trying to control. I feel that there's a control issue here as well that you're not really acknowledging. You have to let it go and just let it happen. Success will always happen if you take care of yourself as well. You're already a hard worker. You've got that down pat. You don't need to, you know, procrastination and all that. That's not your issue. You know how to work hard. You know how to do what it takes to get the job done. But now it's time for you to do what it takes to get the job done with your emotional healing and your growth. That's what your inner child, that's what you need to be focusing on right now. The other stuff will come in. You got that down pat. You get it done like that. You don't even need to keep worrying about all these things you need to pile up each day for you to do for work. You need to be focusing on self-love and your inner child healing right now and releasing. Like I said, I don't look at these cards. I love to see this when it comes out because it's just amazing. We have one, two, three cards on self-love. We have one, two, three cards on releasing. Then we have one, two cards on non-action, taking a break. And then we have two cards with inner child. Like you literally can't make this up. And this is just affirming everything we've been saying, pal, too. So it's time, pal, too. Don't run away from your shadow. Don't run away from the dark. It's okay. It's not there to scare you. It's not there to make you feel away. It's there to be illuminated, to be brought to the light, to heal. So you could become better and do better and keep moving towards your highest good. You are a hard worker. Now it's time to put that hard work into yourself. Put the hard work in yourself because you deserve it. You are love and you deserve to have the type of love that you give away so much. Like I said, go back and watch Pile One. If no one told you that they love you today, I love you, pal, too. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I love you. I'm sending you love on your journey. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for sitting through this reading. I know it wasn't easy. I'm proud of you for showing up for yourself. I'm proud of you for doing the work. I hope you really know that I I'm really am proud of you because it's not easy. Please like the video. Please comment below. Let me know how this resonated. Subscribe to the channel. Join the Capital L-O-V-E tribe. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you in the next reading. Hi, pal three. Welcome to your reading. If you chose this stone, this is your reading. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I'm grateful to have you here. I hope you are well. So I just want to reiterate before we begin the message that this is a timeless reading. Whenever you find this reading, it's meant for you, okay? This is timeless, so this message is meant for you whenever you find it. So, Pal 3, Pal 3, Spirit, please give me messages for Pal 3, Sleeper Full Moon, Pal 3. Okay, we have King of Cups. The High Priestess. Two of Cups, King of Wands, the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Chariot in reverse. Six of Wands and the Hermit in reverse. Bottom of the deck, we have Nine of Nine of Swords. Okay, pile three. Pile three. This is a love reading. I mean, I don't know if you came here for this message, but it is going to be part of of a love reading, but we're going to see just what comes out. Just take a sip of my tea. Mm, okay. Pile three. This is about you and another person. I'm feeling strongly that this could be a twin flame connection. 
Definitely soulmate, but it could be twin flame. Take that how it resonates. You and your person feel very deeply for each other. And this is a deep connection. I'm hearing this goes back to many lifetimes you've had with this person. I feel with this person that you both love each other and see each other on a deeper level than no one. And I mean, no one can see. That's why I said I feel very strongly this could be a twin flame connection. <clears throat> um, there's a deep knowing and a deep understanding of each other. And you're able to see each other like no one else can. You two are able to see each other, like see straight through each other. See things that other people would never see in each other. I feel that you and this person are not in communication. You could be, but I do feel pretty strongly that this is a separation energy here. And it's a separation energy because it's imbalanced. You both are imbalanced. Um, my viewer, you may be feeling like, you know, this person is having issues and they're not being open and honest, which we do see that this person is not being completely honest. They're not speaking their truth because we have the Queen of Swords here in reverse. And Queen of Swords is a person that's very clear, very honest, very direct, blunt, and they speak with authenticity and truth. And that's coming up with the King of Cups. Your person feels very deeply for you. This, this person has a serious depth of love for you, a depth of love that I think you don't realize, Pal 3. I think that you don't see because this person is not showing up the way that you would like, you don't see that depth of love. You feel that, I think you know, Pile 3, that this person loves you. However, I think again, because this person is not always communicative, this person is not always honest and truthful, this person could be in and out, this person may not be may not be able to commit to you the way you would like. I feel that you question this person's love. You question their, I feel that you know that they are loyal, but I feel like you question their amount of love because I feel for you, Pal 3, and again, I can relate to this as well. You give so much love. And I feel that you are giving a lot of love to this person energetically, and, you know, physically. But I do feel that this person feels they cannot measure up. This person is having a hard time feeling like they can measure up to your, your standards. And you know, Pal 3, you may be saying, I don't have these standards and I don't have these expectations, but they are here. They do exist. And you're the type of person, Pile 3, where you want to be victorious in everything and you want to be victorious in love and you want to be victorious in this connection. And your person does as well, but your person is having a hard time right now figuring out their truth, figuring out they don't want to go within. You know, when we see the Hermit card, this is coming up in reverse, okay? The Hermit card is all about going within, being reflective. Like this person... This man, he's an older man, so you would, you know, sense that he's a wise man, okay? But he's taking time by himself. He's going on a stroll, and the idea is that he's he's reflective. He goes within. He takes time to figure out what he needs to do and look at himself in an authentic way, <clears throat> All of a sudden, I'm having throat chakra issues. So again, you know, your person is having a difficult time with going within. They don't want to take the time to see themselves. Do they have a lot of love and passion for you? Absolutely. We have the King of Wands here and the King of Cups. That's that emotional love and depth, but that's also the fire and passion for you. 
They absolutely have it. But then it's clarified with two reversals here. The Queen of Swords, which is not being honest and open and direct and clear and speaking the truth. And then we have the Hermit, not willing to go within and to really look at themselves on a deeper level. Now, Paul 3, I feel like you have this ability to do that. And you do go within and you do look at yourself. However, I feel you both are mirroring right now. There's something that you're not seeing about yourself. Because we have the chariot here. And the chariot is about forward movement. It's a spiritual card talking about spirit, spirit, duality, the light and the dark. There's some darkness within. We all have light and dark within us. We all have masculine, feminine energies within us. Okay, so the yin and the yang, we all have both. But there's something out of balance here. And I feel that there's darkness within. And as I was saying for Pile 2, you know, you may want to watch Pile 2. Um, as I was saying to Pile 2, when I say darkness, I don't want to scare you because I feel like whenever we hear darkness, we think, oh, God, that's so scary. Like, oh, my. no. The darkness is just things that about about yourself, the shadow, when we say shadow work, the shadow, looking at those parts of yourself that are in the dark that need to be brought to the light. The, needs, the light is truth. It needs to be illuminated. It needs to become clear and the truth will set you free once you recognize what the truth is the truth about yourself. So there's something that you are not acknowledging within. There's some truth here that you need to find within. And I'm gonna pull a couple of clarifiers. I was called to do that. But I feel that pile two, I mean, excuse me, pile three, again, watch pile two. That may help you as well. But pile three, I feel like there's something that you don't acknowledge within this connection and that you're not acknowledging within yourself. And Spirit is saying, you know how to heal. You may be a light worker as well. So like I said, go watch Pile 2, Judgment. Okay, let's see what else. What are you not acknowledging? What are you not acknowledging? And I feel like whatever you're not acknowledging about yourself, see again, looking at this image, you're having a hard time looking in the mirror. It's something that you're not seeing about yourself that you don't want to see about yourself. And there's something that you're continuing to project and deflect on your person. Like, you you know, this is a twin flame connection. You may be feeling like, oh, this person won't do this. Even if it's not twin flame, it's a soulmate. This person won't show up. This person won't, you know, show up the way I want them to. They won't come through. So spirit is saying, what is it within you that you're not recognizing? Because there's something that there's an imbalance within you as well. And you and your person are mirroring. You're mirroring each other. You're mirroring a lot of the same issues. The thing that your person refuses to acknowledge and look at within themselves is the same thing you're not. You're refusing to acknowledge and look at within yourself. So there's a lot of mirroring going on in this connection. Do you both have a deep love and deep connection and passion for each other? Absolutely. That's not in question at all. However, there's a lot of imbalanced energy here, which is keeping both of you separated and keeping you both in this place of not willing to take not willing to take ownership and accountability for your own actions. It's like a ping pong situation happening here. But it's energetically. I feel that, because I because again, I feel that many of you are in separation. I feel that there's an energetic ping pong game, like, oh, you don't want to show up. You don't want to do this. Boom, I'm pushing that ball back in your court. Leave me alone. Then the other person, oh, I don't have time for you right now. I can't live up to your expectation. Boom, I'm swinging that ball right back to your side. Now, what are you going to do with that? But it's something within you that you have to acknowledge. We have Ace of Pentacles here. Let me get one more clarifier. And I don't want to look at this other person because we're not talking about this other person right now. And I really want you to focus on your own accountability and your own um, shadow and your healing and your growth. Okay, sorry. These cards are jumpy. Yeah, page of cups. One more. 
And then we have two of two of wands in reverse. This actually came up for the last pile, pile two. So like I said, go back and watch pile two as well. So in this card, again, something that you're not acknowledging, you're not acknowledging your own abundance, your ability to have your own abundance, and you're still waiting for someone to come save you, pile two, excuse me, pile three. Yes, go back and watch pile two for sure. Pal three, you want someone to come save you. You're still waiting for this person to come save you. You still have this idea of, not only that, but it's like this idea of, where's my fairy tale? I've been doing the work. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm in mission. I'm helping others. I'm in my purpose. I'm in alignment. But where's my fairy tale? Where's this payoff? And spirit is saying, it's still more work that needs to be done. Fairy tales look different for everyone. This is about perspective. You know, we've been conditioned to believe by movies and all of that, that the man is supposed to, or again, take it how it resonates, that person is supposed to come in, sweep us off our feet, give us this deep love, deep connection, and then we just sell off in the sunset, we go have children, we whatever. You know, and not to say that those things don't happen. However, it's about perspective and everyone has a different story, different journey. You may not have that happen like that this lifetime, pal three. And I think that that's something that you're going to have to be honest with yourself about. Will you have a beautiful life? Yes. Spirit is saying absolutely. But you have to drop expectation. You are expecting for this person to show up exactly the way you have it in your head. And for them to show up, sweep you off your feet, and then that just be the end of that. And Spirit is saying, I'm sorry if this is triggering Pile 3, but I have to say how it's coming out. Spirit is saying, you have to let go of this expectation. And you have to let go of this need for someone to come save you. It's like a damsel energy here, a damsel in distress. And you have given a lot to this connection. And you do deserve for this person you do deserve love and, you, and this person does love you, but this person is not giving you what you expect because you have that expectation. If you would drop the expectation and surrender, surrender to what is. When we surrender, that's just letting go of it all and be happily accepting of what's happening now. Yes, you may not be in communication with this person. You may not be talking to this person the way you would like, or if you are in communication, it's very little. That may be the case, but you have to surrender to it and happily accept it and understand that whatever is happening right now is for your highest good and this person's highest good. It's all <laughs> happening to help you be better and help this person be better. Particularly if this is a twin flame, even if it is a soulmate connection, it doesn't matter. This person, you both are in each other's lives to help each other grow to grow, to heal, and to become your best version. But this person feels they can't do that if the expectation is still there. And Spirit is saying that's where, that's what's out of balance here. That expectation and the damsel in distress energy. This love will be victorious. It does. It's already victorious because it's helping you to see parts of yourself that you don't see, that you're scared to look at that you're scared to acknowledge and your person is having the same problem. Whatever you are having issues with, your person is having the same issues. They ref they're they refusing to look at themselves as well. They're having a hard time looking at their dark side, the shadow, the things that they can't see. But it's time to bring these energies in alignment and into balance. And it's time to look at yourself authentically and bring the dark side, the shadow, into the light so you can heal it. So let's look at your oracles. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Don't let your past hold you back. South node. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Wisdom, 22, which reduces to the number four. 41, sovereignty. 
surrender to the natural beauty of surrender to the beauty of the natural world surrender to inner peace guidance when you make divine intelligence your foundation you finally have a fixed star to follow individuality every person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school true offering true offering takes what can be an unbearable cross and returns it to love and then we have one more signs instincts are the messages from the inner divine okay pal three we have a lot of cards here <sighs> okay and this card, this is the number five as well. So we have four and then five. There is transformation and growth happening here. Five represents growth, four, I mean, growth and transformation. Four represents balance. And this is what I was just saying. There, there are too many energies out of balance right now. We have to come back to a place of balance. And you're going to be able to do that by being more confident, being bold, stepping more. I feel like many of you are light workers, you're in mission. Stepping more into your path. You're being divinely guided and you have to trust this guidance. You are being guided by the divine. Guided further to your north node. But you can't let your past hold you back. There's a serious message here. Do not let your past hold you back. Continue to face north north node to your north star that's what's going to bring you into balance back into alignment you need to take time and spend some time in in the um in nature observing the natural beauty of the world take a break take a break and spend time in nature nature will help you heal Nature will bring that healing energy that you so badly need in your life right now. You need that energy to bring you into balance because I feel like, again, there's this damsel in distress energy and it's also this fairy tale. The fairy tale that you have in your mind of how you, and it's really expectation, how you and your person should be, what this should look like, where you should be. You both have signed up for your own individual lessons and individual plan your soul knows what you need your soul knows what you signed up for so you and your person are pulling and bringing out the things that need to be brought back into balance brought into alignment and healed and you have to trust that and you have to trust that if your person is in a karmic situation right now that is what they that is where they need to be you are exactly where you're meant to be and your person is exactly where they are meant to be you have to trust that know that you are sovereign know that you are a high priestess you are so divine you have so much wisdom you have so much love you are helping so many people but it's time to bring that within pull it back within look at yourself look at yourself in your divinity zoom out gain a higher perspective here nature will help you do that being in nature sitting just being still listening to the to the birds listening to the wind the leaves feeling the wind feeling the air letting the sun hit your face that will really help you heal because there's a message here for you to surrender to inner peace that is your birthright Inner peace and joy is your birthright. Get back to that place. I feel, pile three, you've been out of alignment just for a little bit. Like I feel like, and I can relate to this, wobbling in and out of alignment, you know, having a bad day, but it's pulling you to the deeper issue here, the core issue. It's time to surrender and get back to that place because you know what it feels like. You know what it feels like to be surrendered. You know what it feels like to just be free and at peace. You know what that feels like. Even if your person doesn't know, you know. And the more that you do, the more it will help this connection. You have to go back to love. We see so many birds here, okay? The, and that's going back to nature. Birds, 
in butterflies. That's a transformation energy as well. It's time for you to be free. Free yourself. You don't need anyone to save you. You don't need anyone to save you. You will save yourself. You have the ability to do that. You don't need anyone to come in to be this knight in shining armor. You are your own knight in shining armor. You don't need that. You have it all within, but you have to trust yourself and you have to be confident and bold. There are some answers coming and I feel that the answers are coming from your person. I feel that your person is going to be, but in order for this to come, you have to drop expectation. And that's clear. But there are some answers coming from your person. I feel that your person is going to want to speak to you and give you some of the answers that you have been yearning. You're getting, you and your person are getting many signs about each other. Many signs. They're there. Trust it. It's from the divine, from the universe. And your person is getting a lot of signs as well. Trust it. Trust it. Trust what's happening. Trust you are meant to be where you are right now. Trust that fairy tales don't exist, okay? It's whatever you make it. Your own journey, your own path, your own story. It's who you know what you signed up for. You, that's a part of your individuality, and it's beautiful. You have your own story, you have your own path. Fairy tales don't exist. You make it what you want to make it. And trust that. And you have the ability and the wisdom to do it. So if no one told you that they love you today, pile three. Go back and watch pile two. I love you so much. I thank you for being here with me. I thank you for showing up. I'm proud of you for showing up for yourself. I'm proud of you for listening to this message. Although it may have been triggering. I'm proud of you for doing the work. Be proud of yourself. Please like the video. Comment below. Let me know how this resonated for you. Please subscribe. Join the Capital L-O-V-E tribe. Thank you all so much. And I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.